Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make ranks in your Roblox game. So, um, today what you're going to need is in server script service, all you're going to need is a script. Now, if you want to tag above their head, um, I will do that next video. Uh, but right now I'm just going to uh, show you the script of like how the ranks work in the leader stats. Actually, um, sorry about uh, like the screen GUIs and everything. Um, this is not an ordinary base plate because I'm actually adding in ranks to my uh, personal Roblox game. Uh, my Roblox group will be in the description. Um, but leader stats are basically, uh, you may find this in some games. You see how right here, where my mouse is, there's a label that says cash. And that is the name of the leader stat, or the value in our leader stats folder, which is cash. Now, the value is right here, and you can change the value. And this is only goes for Roblox Studio um, in order to change the value like this. Uh, I, I can make it 1 million. Um, I, can, I can change it to a, a ton of stuff. Um... But anyways, uh, yeah, that was it, uh, for showing you what leader stats is. Now it's time to go ahead and make. So, because I already have the leader stats folder made for, like, an instance.new, uh, an instance.new is, like, whenever a script runs, um, like, I have a player added right here, so whenever a script runs, it's gonna, it's gonna immediately add this folder because it's instance.new, and then in these uh, parentheses, you want to put quotation marks, and then you want to put um, your the name of it. So, say I wanted to put to put in a part. Um, I could say instance dot new, and then parts. But we're going to be using values. Uh, for our ranks. So what you want to do is, if you do not have the instance dot new, um, uh, leader stats folder. I'm sorry, guys. Um, just go ahead and copy this. Um, uh, you. I'll go ahead and uh, put that in the description with the ranks. Um, if you already have it, all you have to do is just do game dot players dot player added colon connect so what colon connect does is it's a function uh yeah you also want to do put function in here and then plr um but what connect uh does is this is it makes the part of the script that's in between the end and uh, you can see that there's like an arrow right there that like shows what it will run. So if you pull it up, like in all your, all your script that is inside of there will be gone and it will look like this. But when you drop it back down, all your script will come back. Um, but yeah. So what that does is it runs whatever's inside of it whenever something, whenever that event happens. So because player added or basically when a player joins is an event it will have that lightning bolt there um that it will run whenever a player joins the server so now what you want to do is i already told you if you don't have your leader stats put local stats equals uh instance dot new parentheses and then uh, you want to go ahead and put in bra uh, quotation marks and then uh, folder and then after that just enter stats dot name equals leader stats and then stats dot parent equals uh, plr um, and the player what that is is 
it's the player that added. But because we already have uh, leader stats, what we're going to do is local stats equals plr dot leader stats. That's all we're going to do. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put in a weight here because there are different scripts um, of where the leader stats is. Because it's in this, it's in the currency script, I'm putting, but I also need it to be in the rank script. Um, so I'm just going to do weight uh, parentheses 3. I suggest you do that too. And what that does is it waits 3 seconds before it runs what's below it. Um, so that so that will give it time for the leader stats to load in and everything. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to do local and because I'm the owner of the game, I'm just going to put in owner. That it's just a variable. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Just uh, be careful. Um, if I if you see me put owner, then just make sure that it's uh, what I put there. Yeah. So I'm going to put in local owner equals instance dot new. And then we're going to go ahead and put in an, a string value. And a string value, uh, there are all different types of values. A string value is where you can type in words in uh, quotation marks just like that. Um, that. Well, it's basically just words. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put in owner dot name um, equals uh, a rank. Uh, sorry, I forgot I was doing a different video. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put in rank there and then change this to rank. Uh, so yeah, our new variables rank. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, don't worry, the script will be in the description. Um, but you have to follow along with what I say as well. So rank dot parent equals stats. And also, that's why I told you to put in the variable. Uh, you don't have to. You can just... Uh, Put in uh, plr dot leader stats just like that, but I just like to put in the variable. Now the values that is what that is where we can actually type in the words. So I'm gonna do if plr dot user id. So this is if the player's user id equals equals. So equals equals is like seeing if it's something. And then just equals is either changing something or setting something. So, um, if, so this is just, uh, hold up, let me go to my user ID real quick on my second monitor. Uh, me. Okay, so hold up, let me go ahead and copy it. Control C. Um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna paste it in there. So if their user ID is is equal to this, then and then that end should also come up. Um, we're gonna go ahead and set the rank dot value equals. And then we also have to put in those quotation marks, and then I'm gonna call it owner. So, um, now that our script is done, um, I'm going to go ahead and load up into this game. I don't know where my mouse is. Oh. <laughs> now you can see that there's a new leader stat which says rank and the, and it's owner. So, um, yeah, that was just a quick tutorial. Um, so I'm also so in order to add in like uh more people, uh what you can do, um if you want it if you want other people to be owner, um you can type in or 
and then type in their user ID there. Um, but I only want me to be owner because, like, I am the owner of the game. But I do have a friend of mine uh, that I want to be administrator, so I'm going to do if plr dot user ID equals equals. I'm going to go ahead and get his user ID now. Uh, one second. Gotta find it real quick. All right, there we go. Copy. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here. Um. Then plr. I mean, no, not plr. Uh, rank. Sorry, guys. Rank dot value. Value equals. I'm gonna go ahead and put in those quotation marks. Um, and I'm gonna call him administrator um so if i join the game um if i join the game it should still give me the rank owner but say if he say if he joins the game this will not say owner but it will say but it will say administrator so you guys that was just a quick tutorial um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial.